Cosmology, the science that aims to explain how the universe was formed and evolves, is entering a revolutionary age. Questions about our origins and our ultimate fate, questions that used to be firmly in the realm of debatable theory and speculation, will soon be answered with hard, quantitative, and irrefutable scientific proof. As far as cosmology is concerned, we actually live in a fairly unique time uh, because basically in the last century and really in the last decade, cosmology has gone from something of a qualitative science to really a quantitative science. We've gone from having general ideas about how the universe uh, is created and evolves to really getting to the point where we can measure specific things about the the universe. A benchmark in this ongoing revolution was the discovery and measurement of the first light that ever existed in the universe. This first light, light from the Big Bang itself, is called cosmic microwave background radiation. The cosmic microwave background radiation is essentially the oldest light that we can possibly see. It, it, it was emitted very shortly after the birth of the universe and has continued on its merry way without interacting with anything else until it hits us. Cosmic microwave background radiation, or CMB, holds the key to understanding many of the most fundamental questions we have about our universe. It gives us insight into the constituents of the universe, what fills our universe. It gives us insight into how fast our universe is expanding. It gives us insight into what will happen to our universe in the future? Will it continue to expand forever? Will it contract uh, into a big crunch? Or will it do something in between? So the cosmic microwave background radiation is one of the most important tools we have in uh, our cosmological toolbox. This spring, Ken Ganga and a team of over 700 scientists, engineers, and other technicians from around the world will launch into outer space the most ambitious cosmological experiment of all time, the Planck Satellite. A project of the European Space Agency, the Planck Satellite will measure CMB light more precisely than any instrument ever devised. Planck will look at the sky in circles. As time goes on, Planck's orbit changes. First we look at one circle, then we look at another circle just next to it, then we look at another circle slightly offset from that, and another, and another, and another, and ultimately, after about six months, we will have observed the entire sky. The blue areas, where CMB light was weakest, will show where more matter existed at the birth of the universe. The red areas, where CMB light was brightest, will indicate where there was less matter. If the Planck succeeds in its quest, we will know precisely how big the universe was at its birth, how much energy it contained, and exactly what made all the material we see in the universe today. The Planck satellite is scheduled to launch in spring 2009. Before launching, however, the Planck has had to undergo a series of brutal tests to ensure that this highly sensitive and expensive instrument can survive the rigors of space travel. One part of the Planck, the 4K cooler, designed to keep the instruments cold enough to accurately measure the CMB, has had a history of problems. If the scientists haven't solved these problems in the next month or so, they will have to wait several more months at a cost of 10 million euros a month before the next launch date. Ken and the Planck team, some of whom have invested most of their careers on this mission, will be biting their nails until Planck is in orbit and all systems are functioning. <laughs>